In this series, we have seen pretty bad attempts at a Northern Irish accent. They're gone. A circus climber like. And some better ones. Yes, we had a meeting and your letter was read aloud. As commented by King Dollophead and Carmen, this video is an analysis of Louisa Harlan's Derry accent in the series Derry Girls. I do not accept that. If we're meeting for the first time, I'm Alistair, an English teacher and Northern Irish dialect coach. To know more about English, languages or accents, consider subscribing. Should you be an actor looking to master your Northern Irish accent, then contact me using the details in the description below. Our first clip. She cries her tears, then make rain. Listen to how Orlan McCool does not say the diphthong A in this word. Delightful. She cries her tears, then make rain. This feature is prominent in the Derry accent. A diphthong is a sound formed by the combination of two vowels. The sound starts with one vowel and finishes with another vowel. The mouth has to move. You should feel the shape inside your mouth as you make this diphthong. A. The A diphthong combines E and E to make the diphthong A. A more typical British accent would pronounce this word using the diphthong. Rain. Whereas in a Derry accent there is no diphthong. Rain. Rain versus rain. Our second clip. I won't give it up. I can't. Here pay attention to how the final word is said with an extra y sound. I won't give it up. I can't. This is an important characteristic of a Derry accent and perhaps one that distinguishes it from a more generic Northern Irish accent. Many people have asked me what's the difference between a Belfast accent and a Derry accent. And I think this shows one variation, the extra y sound in words like this. Can't versus can't. Can't versus can't. If you're watching from Northern Ireland, could you shed some light in the matter? What are the different variations within the Northern Irish accent? Please put it below in the comments section. Our third clip. I have had it with ye, James, and you're picking, picking, picking. Notice the in rather than ing in this word. It's incredibly clear in Louisa's dairy accent. She even says the word three times to help us. I have had it with ye, James, and you're picking, picking, picking. In my opinion, this is the easiest feature of the dairy accent to get spot on. If you're doing it correctly, you should feel the different tongue positions in your mouth. In versus ing. Picking versus picking. By the way, this video is part of my Northern Irish accent series. To know more, click the playlist right up here. Right, just for the crack, here's a wee bonus clip and quiz. How many times does Orla say the word we, or a variation of it, in this clip? You can get this wee woman made of wood, right? You pull her apart, and inside her there's an even weir wooden woman, and you pull the weir wooden woman apart. Here's another way to develop your dairy accent. Use the local language. The word we is an absolute must. Should you be looking to master your Northern Irish accent, then there are two options. We could sell our organs. Otherwise, contact me using the details in the description below. Now, to find out how Sam Neill got on with the Northern Irish accent, watch this video. Or, if you'd prefer to discover 20 words that Northern Irish people say, check out this video instead.